How many roads must a man walk down Before you call him a man And how many seas must a white dove sail Before he sleeps in the sand Welcome to this continuation of our series on the A to Z of human factors design science. When a UX engineer works to optimize the design, that engineer is not going to do it based on just common sense and good intentions. The engineer is going to apply billions of dollars worth of research-based insights and models and methods. And we love to apply those to all kinds of complicated systems and complicated ecosystems and wicked problems. And we'd like to share just a couple more examples of the principles that we apply to design. D for decidophobia. Decidophobia, or the paradox of choice, is a psychological bias that occurs when we are overwhelmed by too many choices. Too many options mean that people are overloaded and less likely to select or purchase any of them. More options can lead to more enjoyment in choosing, but less satisfaction with the eventual results. When it comes to making purchases or other decisions, we need to ensure that users are not faced with bewildering choices and yet are offered just enough options to enable clear choice comparisons. F for false affordance. False affordance is something when uh, the, the object does not behave as per its appearance. Say, for example, a hyperlink that cannot be clicked, or a form field that cannot be filled in. Or take this door, for example. The handle on the door makes it look like you have to pull it to open it, but actually you have to push it to open it. It doesn't open when you pull it. So this can be sometimes very frustrating for the users, and uh, that's why we should avoid these kind of false affordances whenever we design. Watchman! Watchman! Have you ever wondered why cliffhangers work so well? Or why can't you just stop watching that series on Netflix? Just one more episode. It's the oldest trick in the entertainment business. You tune in week after week or binge watch because the unresolved story is ticking away at the back of your mind. In the 1920s, Bluma Zagarnik conducted studies to establish that incomplete tasks are easier to remember than the successful ones. This is now known as the Zagarnik effect. For example, Students who suspend their studies to do unrelated activities such as playing games or reading storybooks remembered material better than students who complete their study sessions without a break. This is the Zaganic effect in action. How many roads must a man walk down before you call? 